Hi everybody. I'm here today. I'm gonna. I, I want to make a little video and show you guys exactly how decimal gearing works. In the past few weeks, there's been some videos that have come out trying to disprove what we've done, and uh, it's bothered me on how I can convey this message to people in an easy to understand format. So recently, I thought about it, and I thought about picking up a digital scale which is gonna actually measure the chain force. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two different decimal gears on, a 43.7 and a 44.2. And we're gonna measure how much force, when we, put, when we hang the same amount of weight from the crank, how much force is shown in the chain between those two gears. The 43.7 and the 44.2 both have 44 teeth but they're machined differently such that the chain rides higher on the 44.2 than the 43.7. If this theory is correct, then as the chain moves out on the circle, as it gets closer to the hanging weight, the, the force actually goes down. And when you move in the other direction, as in the 43.7, we should see the force go up. So right now, what's mounted on here is a 43.7. Um, when I take that off, I'll show you guys, but just so you see, this is one of our ones straight off a of machine, so that's the 44.2. <clears throat> and now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hang about 34 and a half pounds from the crank area, and then measure and see what's happening. Now, right before I take this measurement, what I'm gonna do is tear out the scale, just to make sure what we're working with is a true zero. So now we're all teared out. We're gonna hang our weight. Come in. So now that's showing to be 65.9. Okay, so remember that everyone, 65.9. We're gonna take the weight off. We are going to loosen are 43.7. I'm gonna show everyone this gear, just so that there's no confusion and no conspiracy theories that I did something funky. So here's the 43.7. Let's match up the two gears just so that you guys can see. They both have 44 teeth. As we look around, all the teeth match up. So now we're putting the 44.2 on. I also went the extra measure to mark the chain and the roller that each gear is hitting so that the crank angle will be exactly the same. Right now the crank or the, the, the whole setup is being held in place by an Allen wrench preventing the rear wheel from turning by hitting the spokes on the wheel. So. Got our chainring bolts in. I'll set the scale back up on the chain stay here, just so that everything's good. Our chain is there. We're gonna hang our weight. Now if you come over here and take a look, you can see that this is showing a value of 65. And I believe our other value is a little bit higher. You can go back in the video and see exactly what it is. But that goes and proves the theory that the bigger diameter gear, the 44.2, produces less chain force for the same amount of 
weight hanging on the crank. And this makes sense because it's a bigger gear. It's a bigger gear ratio. You can think of it like, you know, starting your car in first gear. You would never start it in fifth. The 44.2 is like starting in fifth. The 43.7 is like starting it in first gear. So the lower the gear ratio, the more force you can produce on the chain. It can help you get out of the gate better, accelerate faster. Um, that's how it works essentially. So this all came about because of this video that was uh, put out a few weeks ago. And this is just part one of this video. I'm going to be making a part two kind of breaking down that video and all of the errors and flaws are in it and, uh, and some of the motivation, which I believe is behind it. But we'll save that for a few weeks. We'll tease it out at some point soon. Hopefully this uh, explains everything to everybody. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm always available. Thank you.